M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Unboxing of the ATS120. This is the D model, so it's had the modification inside already from, oh, this is from AliExpress, for decoding FT8 in digital modes. I'm pretty sure this one isn't the airband model, so there's no VHF on this. But anyway, let's have a quick look at it. So there it is from the front. You've got three buttons there. Pretty sure that you hold down probably this one, I think, for turning it on and off. We'll soon find out. It does have an antenna that is not removable. Extendable antenna, like so. About one and a half feet long. And it does push right into the device. The top knob is mainly for channel changing. And, you know, just so you know, inside the box, all that came was a USB charging lead and a very brightly coloured carry strap. So that's what's in the box. Anyway, back to the, the device, the receiver. So it is a receiver and you can see it's got the, the words D printed on the front. Now, you do, you probably still need to upgrade the firmware to get this working decoding digital. The firmware is made by Arduino, I'll put the link in. And there is a charge for that. I'm just looking now, I'm not sure what the charge is. My memory is about £30 for that. So this came without it. And to buy this was about £70, £80. So I will peel that off because that can be quite, you know, ugly. Um, not a very good one, to be honest. Oh, look, it's lighting up. So maybe I've already turned it on. Or oh, one, ah, one of these is a torch. See that? So have a closer look. So USB-C charging, nice big battery on this. So quite good. The, uh, there is an earphone socket at the top, and that can be an antenna for broadcast radio, and there's, there's your, your HF antenna there. But the good thing is that the bottom of this device, although it does have a, a you know, um, earphone speaker connector, it's actually an antenna for shortwave and SSB and medium wave. I'm sure that there's a selection within the menus for that. So let's turn it on. We'll try our luck with this. And this is an unboxing, so I literally don't even know myself. So let's hold this down. See if it comes alive. I have had it on charge for a while. No, let's try this one. There it goes, coming to life now. That's your boot up screen. Volume, you can press this. Squelch on volume. Push it once. Get the volume down, push it again, squelch, and then push it again, and you're back into frequency change. The firmware update is the same for both of these. When I say that, it comes from the same place. It's the Arduino site here, and you've got it there for the ATS25 and the ATS20, ATS25X. I've actually got the new one of these coming, which is called the Max Decode. And the reason I've got that one is because it has all the extra hardware, the items that have been installed inside the device to decode FT8. So I, I just couldn't really resist it, to be honest. And this, I paid like £50 for this quite a while ago. And it's it's been a couple of years. Yes, it has got the new the new Arduino uh, hardware on it. So let's just extend the antenna. I don't think we're going to get much in this room. We might do outside, maybe. Um, let's have a quick test and then we'll come back and go through the settings. So at the moment we are on 40 meters and the mode, if we stick mode here, is LSB. It is touch screen. How do we go back? Just tap the screen to go back. Let's quickly stand outside, see if we can hear anything. Then we'll come back in and just go through all the different menus. Okay, we're outside. I can hear weak, some weak stuff. You fine tune by selecting BFO. There's someone there. I mean, the screen looks nice in this light, but in the sunlight, it wouldn't be amazing. Someone there. You've got AGC, attenuation, mode, mute, volume, and the next 
screen. So you can hear it. And remember, this has Bluetooth, so you can pair it with a Bluetooth earpiece and speaker. If you tap frequency, you can type in the frequency. Delete and clear. So 7148, let's put that in. Let's go OK. Sounds quite good, really. Not sure what these do. So next. Light, is that a torch? Not sure what that is. Squelch. RDS, that's the broadcast radio. Retro style. Pretty good. Band. It says VHF, but that'll be broadcast. See if I can get it to tune. Oh, okay, I don't know what that is. Double tap the screen to go back. I, I selected FM and it did this. That's pretty good. Looks nice. Going to Radio One. I was always going to be a doctor. I, very I good. Didn't I? What I was always going. It's to very likable toy. To be honest, but I didn't want to take over his practice. Was that his over. great dream? Right, let's go he back to. to he daughter. wanted to pass it. He wanted Something me to else. be the second doctor, Gerard. On my own. So if we go back, then you've got the up and down there as well for searching. That's pretty good. That's a memo section. You can add memories and edit and delete. Well, setup, what's that? So that's your main setup, reset, exit, next. RDS, that's when the information from the broadcast. Screen, saver. So quite a few, oh, Wi Fi. It does have Wi Fi, and that's how you activate the Arduino password. Bluetooth and then reset to factory if I just turn this on and off we'll see if we can see what firmware I've got on there so I think that's just a quick unboxing overview yeah it's a nice little toy about 80 pound keep turning the to torch on torch works okay yeah I'm trying to get the firmware version <laughs> Quite hard to get. Hold it down. Got the torch on. Okay, well thanks for watching my channel. Catch you later. Bye for now.